Well, it is March, and there is an important thing coming up for March. I'm with Scott Lukens from Backyard Bird Shop, and we're getting to the time when mason bees are going to be out and about, and you have some really good information about what a mason bee is and how we can help bring them into our yards. Well, sure. Mason bees are a, a, a small insect, a bee that is non-aggressive. It's oh, really important to, to note that it does not sting you. Um, and they're just wonderful native pollinators mm. of our fruit trees and camellias, azaleas, anything that's blooming between March 15th and about mid-June. Oh, they're really hardy because they're out and about when honeybees aren't and the weather is just kind of at the cusp of being springtime. Yeah, and they're, they're fun to watch too. Because they don't sting you, um, you can actually observe their entire nesting and pollinating cycle. Well, I know at Backyard Bird Shop, you have so many different things to help bring bees into our yard. And if you can talk about some of the different um, products that you have and maybe the life cycle of how this all works, they're really ingenious insects. Sure. Um, well, I like the bee barrel. This is, <laughs> we call this the bee barrel. It's got uh, different, a, a number of different straws in here. Mm -hmm. And the bees during last cycle fill these straws up with eggs. And those eggs have matured over the winter and spring, and now they're ready to emerge. So you'll see them, if I were watching this in my backyard, I would about March 15th and after that date would see the bees emerging and they would then begin pollinating the fruit trees. Ah, they're really busy bees. And I know that they, um, the males and the females um, kind of hang out together and they, the females will lay their eggs and the she does it in a certain sequence, which is really interesting. Yeah, well, I guess it's easiest to bring this tube out to show you. The female, uh, by nature, uh, tends to lay the female eggs toward the rear of the tube, and then just a few males toward the outside of the tube, the end of the tube, and then the, the males come out first. They emerge first and hang around, and as the females leave the tube, they pollinate um, the male and the female mate and then the female collects pollen and comes back to a new tube and lays an egg and the cycle begins again. You know, I know that it's nice to have these tubes because it is a place for the bees to go, but if we don't have them, they're really pretty industrious and they find places to lay the eggs. That's so true. They are a native insect. And so they're there anyway. Um, whether we have bee tubes or what have you, they will find our tubes if we just put out a, a mason bee house. And I know that you have, especially for children, you have some products that they can actually kind of watch the bees over the whole season and observe exactly how they're maturing to be ready for the next year. Yeah, we have the observation. They call it the observation hive, which um, you can open up and actually see um, the bees as they lay their eggs and the cocoons are developing. You know, I think that we always want extra help with our pollinating, especially if we have fruit trees in our yard or different things that we want to create seed pods and things like that. So it's nice to help out the native populations and bring bees into our yard. And I know on your website that you have all the information that you have in the newsletter. Mm -hmm. um, and it does tell you about different ways you could really help your population. You could wash the cocoons or provide just nesting boxes for the bees. Yeah, it's just a really fun hobby and a family hobby too. Yeah, and tell us what the website is. Backyardbirdshop.com. And there's many different locations throughout the Portland area, so just go on the website and you can find those. Thank you so much for all the information. Thanks, Judy.